I take back everything I said about Fiat tractors. This thing's awesome. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 17 mods for you. It's a big mod day for all platforms. We've got 10 new and five updates and for PC and Mac, we've got one new and one update. Let's check it out. First up, we have the MAN TGS 18500 Bell Transport Auto Load. Yes, this is auto load. <laughs> it's for all platforms and it's awesome. Oh man, square bell capacity, 28 square bells. So nothing crazy. However, the round bell capacity is 40. That's right, 40 round bells. It, it's crazy absolutely crazy first off let's check it out in the store where are you going to find these well these are going to be found in vehicles in trucks so we've got new trucks and they are right here now these are auto load but you can use them not as an auto load if you don't want let's check out square bell capacities and everything is going to be different but your customization will be the same so we have the square bell version right here rim color any color you want plus the included man kind of cream color that you would get but you can change this whatever you want we do a whole lot of john deere and claw stuff so today we're going baby reveal rim color pink main color light blue design color I do, yellow there you go baby reveal i'm not sure what it is <laughs> there we go will brands we've got trelleborg and we have lizard so either one you've got singles in the front duels in the back at just as you would expect. Plus, we get the Man TGS 18500, 500 horsepower engine, and then the Turbo 875 buff horses. Oh, yeah, yeah. This thing is great. We even get a trailer hitch on the back, so you can hook up to any trailer, or you can hook up to the front lifter, and you can have a three point with PTO in the back with this as well. Absolutely crazy. Now, the one thing I haven't checked is do we have. Yep. We do have straps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in here and this is gonna work just like any other auto load trailer. So you just do your auto load thing and rock and roll. So I'm gonna dump these off to the side. Let's see, let's unload. Oh, that is, that's different. So you can't change where you want them to unload. They're just gonna unload right there. I got a feeling those on the top are just going to drop down. Yep, just like that. So that's one thing that's a little bit... It is what it is, ain't it? Yep. So if we want to go around, we're going to put this thing into operating position. We're going to turn around. Very good turning radius on this. If we do look, that is going to be where your tie downs are. So no tie downs on the top, which means you better be careful. And then we come through. And then this is how it loads them up. Just like that. What do you guys think about that? That's pretty cool. Again, it's going to work the exact same way with your round bells as well. Loads them up. It's just a little bit different. That's all. But again, 28 square bells, 40 round bells. You can add a auto load trailer on the back of these as well and pick up even more. I think this is great. It's going to save you guys a whole lot of time. And it's going to make wasting time a lot easier smaller of a percentage than it normally would be. Next, we have the Horse Toronto 5FM. This is going to be a cultivator, is a big horse cultivator. Require power, 205 horsepower, uh, working with 4.8 meters, so it's a smaller one, but keep in mind, this is a huge cultivator. It's gonna need some power to push through, plus working speed, 15 kilometers per hour, all kind of normal stuff there. Let's go check it out. Let's jump into tools. Let's jump into cultivators, and we're not gonna have to go very far at all. Here it is for $23,000 very affordable to be honest with you guys very affordable yes it needs a lot of horsepower but uh, if you've been watching our uh, beginner farm series your middle tractor should be able to pull this just fine uh, so again 4.8 meters nine miles per hour no customization options so it is what it is you can fold it up for transport easy transport and then unfold it to work other than that great cultivator next we have today's featured mod the fiat 1000 series again i am sorry for talking so much smack about this thing look at this oh my goodness i didn't need this yes i did you're absolutely right dale's farmer you are a rock star for bringing this out let's jump in and see customization because not only do we <laughs> don't even have that but this is this is the standard one without customization look at that two-wheel drive 
Oh man, let's jump in. Here it is. This is our in-game version right here, the Fiat 1300D. The only thing we could do is change up from standard, wides, rears, and narrows. That's it. 15 mile per hour and 150 horsepower. Okay, standard stuff there. Let's go in and let's check out the new ones right here. So first off, we have the 1000 series two-wheel drive and the 1000 series all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Rim color, whatever you would like here. So you've got worn white, you have restored white. So you can make it look older, worn gray, restored gray. You also have worn black and restored black as well there. Wonder if the worn costs you anything. Nope, just the restored costs you a little bit. So that's all right. Main color, we have worn orange, Restored orange, so you get kind of an older orange versus a newer orange. You also get worn green and restored green. So new versus old there as well. I think the green looks a little bit interesting, but I'm so used to seeing the orange, so we're just going to go back to the orange. Then design color. It's going to be your roof and your cab. So we can see we've got the oranges, we've got the blacks, and we got the green. So every color making a return there. We're just going to make that go back white. And then configuration. We have standard. 100 kilogram front weight what that's going to do is just kind of adds just a weight bracket around it with that bracket you could do a lot of things then we get a 700 kilogram weight and back to standard again if you want a three-point hitch on the front of this use the 100 kilogram front weight it's going to give you just a little bit of weight on the front but that's all right no big deal and then stick your front lifter on there three point with front pto you'll be good to go wheel brands we have trailer bork nokian michelin midas lizard <laughs> That's a little weird, isn't it? Do, 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 do. And then uh, and down here in trailer board, we have standard. We have wheel weights. Yes, we've got wides. We've got wider. <laughs> Big old floaters on the baby right there. Extra wide. Oh, these are nasty looking. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we also get rear twins and we get rear narrow and back to standard again. Nokia, nothing different here, just a nice road tire. Michelin, we have standard, we have wide tires, we have big dog tires. <laughs> uh, come on, it's ridiculous. I love it, I want like six of these. We also get wheel weights as well, rear twins, back to standard again. And then in Midas, we have standards, wheel weights, we've got rear twins, back to standard again i'm crazy there then we get the fun stuff the lizard these right here we get tracks on the back of the two-wheel drive making this thing a hoss and a half yeah boy let's go i think my favorite has got to be these right here even though we get tracks look at that it looks like a itty bitty tractor pull it looks like one of the tractors that mater would come up and and tractor tip design no beacon light left right Left rear, right rear, duels on the front, duels on the rear. <laughs> then you can get some corners, but you can't do all four. Design standard, we get the still exhaust, standard exhaust, still exhaust, straight exhaust, and then back to standard. Engine setup, we have the 1000 DT, it's going to give you 110 horsepower, or you can do the 13 DT, 150 horsepower, or the DT tuned with 185 horsepower. You also get front loader, yes or no. So you can put a front loader on here. If you decide to do a front loader, a couple things are going to change. Your lights are going to relocate. You're also going to get, uh, actually you get a cover. Look at that. So the lights down there, if we move them to the front, it's it's like they stick a, uh, it's like they stick a cover where they would have been. And then your exhaust comes out. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. That is a huge attention to detail right there. And very, very affordable making me want to use one of these come on dj don't use it don't use it rim color if we go into the all-wheel drive version same stuff here main color design color all that good stuff configuration standard 100 kilogram front weight 700 kilogram front weight everything's the same matter of fact everything is the same with the exception of one thing the wheels wheel design trailer board nokian michelin midas oh yeah, yeah. lizard what's up what's up if we go into Trailer Borg, standard reversed front. So we get that wheel weights, wide tires, wider tires, extra wider tires, rear twins, twins all around, baby. Narrows and then back to standard. Nokians, nothing crazy there. All road tires all the way around. Michelin, standard reversed front, wide tires, extra wide with those chunky monkeys in the front. Boy, let's go. Wheel weights, uh, rear twins, twins all the way around. Back to standard again. 
Midas, standards, reversed front, wheel weights, rear twins, twin wheels all the way around, standard, and then lizard. You get the crawler track with the chunky monkeys in the front, and you can do crawler track all the way around. That is it, man, does this look good or what? Oh my gosh! Spent way too much time on this mod. I love it. Next up, we have the Flegel VFW 25,000. This right here is a slurry spreader. We're gonna jump in and we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna go into tools. We're gonna go into slurry tanks and it should be right beside the other Flegel that we've got right there. The VFW 18,000, this is the 25,000. This will hold 25,000 liters of slurry or digestate. Requires 200 horsepower to get it moving and get it grooving. Also, 20 meters, so it's exactly the same as the other one. 10 mile per hour working speed, no customization. I imagine we'll probably see some crazy stuff with this one coming up soon, maybe for the next uh, update. As you can see, the other one that's very similar to it has, well, it's got color options. So I imagine we'll see an update to this one later on down the line with color options. But for right now, no color options, but it is what it is. You will need a semi truck to pull this as well. Next, we have the Karncher H. A HDS 918-4M. Why do we got to cut? Just call it a sprayer. Karcher sprayer. There you go. I changed the name for you. It's a great name. Uh, it's a high pressure washer and you can clean and do your vehicles with. You may be saying to yourself, DJ, this is just the sprayer in game. What? What's so hype about this? This. This is what's hype about it. If I want to take it to another farm, I don't need to buy more than one. I could just pick it up, put it in my thing, and be done with it. Throw it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> this thing's great. So you can pick it up just like you would be able to pick up any egg pallets or anything like that. I don't need super strength to pick this up. You just pick it up any way you want. If you want to find this, it's going to be found in tools. So not in placeables, in tools and in miscellaneous over here. If we go through, we'll be able to see it here in just a moment. And there it is, same price, $4,500. Boom, pick it up, you place it down. However, once you place it down, just like that, you can pick it up and move it wherever you want. I love that. Next, we've got an old shed. This is an old open style shed, which will work with seasons. Maintenance is gonna be 20 bucks a day. Price, $8,000 for this guy right here. It is very, very cool. I'm digging it. Do we have a snow roof? Negative Ghost Rider. Perfect. I do like that. Otherwise, there's nothing to this. It is what it is. It places down a concrete slab under it as well, if you guys are curious. And if you want to find it, placeables and in sheds. Next, we have a small chicken shed. This is going to be a small chicken shed coop for six chickens. If we go in, we can buy ourselves six chickens. But where did they go? Well, they're not around. Let's go ahead and open this up. And check it out, you can hear them. There they are. They look dirty, we need to turn the light on. Can we turn the light on? Let's go ahead and turn some help windows on. Let's see, I don't get a trigger for a light there. Do we get one here? Yeah! Normal chickens. Probably not used to being inside, but it is what it is. Totally fine. If you guys want, the eggs are gonna spawn over here, so if we open this up, boop. Eggs will spawn in there. Let me close that back up. I do have a bag of premium chicken feed because I don't know. Well, I guess that's where it goes then, huh? Can we take it inside? Let's get another one of these. Big bags, wheat bag. Yeah, let's do the whole thing. There we go. Let's pick this up. So just kind of set it in front of it, I guess. And it works just fine. Can we get it in there? Yeah. So you can get it in there. They've got enough. Oh, so the trigger is actually out front. It's just kind of on the ground. That's interesting. All right, not a problem is what it is. There you go. That is going to be your small chicken shed. If you want to find this, it's going to be placeables and in animal pens. Next up, we have Cattle Stable. This has two different versions, an open air stable for small farmers. The mod contains two stables, one with a roofed feed alley. So that one right there and one without right here. See that as well. Both of these can be used with the Place Anywhere mod or Global Company mod if you guys are on PC to be able to place right beside each other, which is kind of cool. I like that, I think that's neat. Plus, if you have Seasons installed, these are going to be Seasons ready. Again, these are gonna be for cows, so of course you have your food and your straw coming out from the front. 
If you want to buy them, you can come through here. We can do eight cows. Whoa, that is not a good look. We'll back out of here. Manure. Slurry, I believe. And then milk's going to be over here. So there you go. Both these are going to be exactly the same. Just one of them has feed in the front. Covered. And the other one does not. Very neat. And we've got another new cow's barn as well. This is just cow's barn. We have two of these. We have a brick one and we have just a normal kind of concrete slat looking one. Usually looks really, really good. Both of these are exactly the same. Otherwise, these will hold eight cows or $70,000. So a little bit pricey for eight cows. We come around, we've got places to throw straw. If we open this up, we've got places for food, for water, all that good stuff in there. Plus, we have a place right here where we can buy them. Milk, of course, is going to be here. Slurry, all the goodies. These aren't too bad. These actually look really, really good. I like the kind of covered look on the backside. I think it makes it look very kind of lived in. It's very nice. I like this. This is our way up, too. Yo, let's go check this out. Aw, oh, huh. There we go. All right, all right. Can we open this? Oh, it's opening, boy. Let's see if we can get in here. Got to climb on the side here. So we've got a roof as well. All right. That's kind of neat. I'm not sure what you'd put up here, but the fact that it exists makes me extremely happy. Thank you. That's awesome. And your last new mod for all platforms today. This is Seasons Geo Central Poland. Weather and vegetation period of Central Poland. The weather data comes from the city of Lodz, Lodz. There's a lot of symbols on that word. I can't even read. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If you take a look, we've got a very standard look. Otherwise, um, wheat, barley, oats, no cotton, and canola, sunflower, soybeans, coin, coin, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, uh, sugar cane, no sugar cane, all that good stuff. Plant in the spring, harvest in the fall, replant some of your cereal crops in the fall as well. Let them go through the winter. You're good to go. This is nice. We've got an update to Big Brood. Change log 1.001, added realistic wheels, and fixed an error with sprayer having different shades. And an update to Somerset Farms by Steve's Mods. Shout out to you, Steve. Change log 1.1. Now Seasons is working. Move the chickens, fix the shop icon, fix a few details around the map, move the water tank to the cow yard, put a gate on field 33, and field missions and grass missions have been added. We've got an update to the Vaderstad Rapid 300C 400C change log 1.1 added the Rapid 400C so we get a 4 meter version now. Also added fertilizer configuration, added hoses, and changed the wheels. We've got another update to the modular map. Change log 1.2 added poplar cultivation so you've got that on there now. And compatibility with the DLC Anderson Group Equipment Pack. Boom, baby. And your last update today, the Fiat 80 series change log 1.2 added visible motor, so transparent grills and new tire configurations have been added as well. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac only. First up, we have the snow melting station. This turns snow into water. It pays $0.1, about 10 cent per liter. That is your reward for snow or clearing the snow. Also provides a water refill station as well. So you can pull up to it and refill your water. Unfortunately, the MKS trailers are unsupported. Those are your base game water trailers to make sure you've got something else. And it is fully animated as well. And your last mod today, an update to Seabells. Change log number two. Add in menu to configuration settings. Shift B to show only outside a vehicle. Also added bell pallet statistics table. Included cotton bales and Marker size now configurable. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the Goham fam and turn your notification bells on. Make sure they're on so that you never miss a video here on the channel. That being said, I hope you have a great, wonderful rest of your day. We will see you later. Peace.